Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with uh, Boating Tech Talk. And today we're gonna talk about uh, boat monitoring. So it's quite common for some of us boaters to not uh, be near our boats, our cherished boats, and to wonder, how's my boat doing? And that wondering how my boat doing could be, do I still have shore power? Uh, how is my battery voltage? What's the temperature in the boat? Uh, what's the humidity like in the boat? Um, what are the loads on my boat? How's my solar array doing? These are all things I think that some of us um, certainly feel that we'd like those questions answered even though we're not on board. Or if the boat is a little bit further um, and it's not, we don't have the convenience of checking on it every day like some owners get. For you that might be interested in this sort of solution, um, Victron offers uh, a product that we've utilized on our own boats and have promoted on other boats. And this is basically called the Victron, um, Victron Energy uh, Servo GX. And it's a module uh, or a black box that has a lot of inputs. And the good thing about those inputs is they allow us the ability of providing connectivity to that module either over Wi-Fi, which is nice. So if your marina has Wi-Fi, that device could potentially log on and give you ability to connect to that device over the internet. Or uh, you might have Starlink on your boat. Uh, you might have um, a, uh, you might be able to even buy a cellular little module that provides internet connectivity directly to the module. All right. So let's back up a little bit. I, I gave a little bit about the layout of the situation, but here's where it gets really interesting. So this module, this Victron Energy Acerbo, um, can have all these various inputs. And one of these inputs, uh, which is worthwhile connecting, which I did on my own boat as well, is installing a smart shunt. And we've talked about battery monitors before, but smart shunts are basically a battery monitor without a display. And so you can actually install a battery monitor, a smart shunt on your boat, have that smart shunt connected to the servo, and now you can see that locally. Uh, you could use a Bluetooth app to actually see what's happening on my smart shunt. You can also get a display, uh, like what I did on my boat. I have what's called a Touch 50. Uh, you can get the Touch 70. 50 or 70 is basically the, the diagonal um, uh, screen size, right? And so it's like a little instrument, and that instrument gives you a really nice screenshot of what's happening in your boat at the moment, like what's happening on shore power, how many, uh, what sort of wattage are you pulling from shore power, what are your AC loads in the moment, and how much are you also using to either recharge the battery, see what the battery voltage is, what are the amps going in, you can connect your solar controllers to this device, I've done that, seeing what each solar array is doing, what your aggregate solar is doing, seeing what the amps are, and on top of it, it's actually not only are you monitoring in real time, which is nice, but you have historical. And the historical is really good to establish trends, see patterns, because we're not always looking, obviously, at uh, a servo remotely, and we're not always looking to see what the numbers are doing, but you can actually see them historically. So this is a really huge advantage of this servo. On my own boat, uh, my boat is hours away from where I live and, and work. And what I normally do is I actually literally check on it every day, a couple times a day. I'm looking to make sure that I still have shore power because sometimes we do lose shore power. And if you're going to lose shore power, you're going to probably lose heat. If you're going to lose heat, depending on where your boat is, you might have problems with uh, freezing water lines or through hauls. So that might be one issue. Um, you also want to make sure that your batteries are not being discharged deeper than you want because we've had that happen to some of us for sure. And we've heard the horror stories where people lose their batteries because they haven't been on board for two, three weeks. They come back and their battery bank is completely dead. And as we all know, trying to resuscitate a completely dead battery that is at below nine volts for an extended period of time is um, going to be disappointing. The battery is going to come back, but it'll never be the same as it was before. So in a nutshell, that's basically what you're getting from Servo. It's like the ability of being at your boat, but doing it remotely. And you do that via different connection devices. We talked about Wi-Fi. So if your marina has a Wi-Fi or your boat has a Wi-Fi, then you could connect to Wi-Fi. Um, you could connect via these different modules uh, that Victron does for actually sell your connectivity directly to the Servo. 
Um, or you could have on your boat, potentially like I do on my boat, a device, a gateway. It could be uh, like um, there's different vendors, telecom providers give them different names, but basically a let's call it a cellular device to Wi-Fi. You know, it's like a little bit like a hotspotting our phones. And what that's going to give you is the ability to log into that remote device over the internet. And that's huge. The other thing too that I've done on my boat and we've seen other boaters do as well is actually monitoring not only voltage and shore power, uh, but also monitoring temperature. You know, um, there are, you can actually have uh, wireless sensors or wired sensors to actually monitor not only temperature on your boat, which is interesting here in the Pacific Northwest because it sometimes does get below freezing, um, but it could be measuring humidity, seeing what the temperature is in your engine room. And the monitor, the servo does even more. It does tank settings. Um, I mean, it's it's really the integrated black box that has all the different inputs. Now, you might say, Jeff, I don't have a Victron inverter charger on board. Can I still have this servo? And the answer is yes. Now, of course, if you have a Victron inverter charger, which I have on my boat, it's a 3000 watt. Um, yeah, so now not only am I monitoring my systems uh, on the Touch 50 via a servo, but I'm also able to control and uh, my inverter. So the Touch 50 is a sort of a portal, or the Touch 70 is sort of a portal to everything related to Victron. Now, the more stuff you have connected to it, obviously the more features. But we've installed this on motors that might have a Xantrax inverter on board. They might have a Magnum, uh, Mastervolt, and they don't have any sort of monitoring capabilities, but they also want to have remote monitoring capabilities. That's where the servo comes in. So you can have a standalone sort of, and we sell this as a kit, a standalone servo. Uh, you're going to have the smart shunt. You're going to be able to choose a screen size that you want, 50 or 70. And so now, in effect, you're having a battery monitor, but a battery monitor that can be connected to the internet that allows us as owners to be able to go on, basically virtually on board our boats and confirm that all the things that we worry about are still there so that, you know, remove a little bit of worry and give us a little bit, uh, I guess, less nervousness to come back on board the boat and hope that the batteries are all good every time we come on board for the first time after being away for a while. So that's pretty neat. The other thing too, of course, um, some of us are gonna make use of all the features that this things have. Like for example, some of us are gonna be looking at, you know, battery state of charge, the shore power connection, which I talked about, the power consumption at your batteries, how much are your solar array doing? Um, you can even, and this is, gets even crazier. It's not just monitoring. And this is really worth highlighting. I can actually have forgotten to turn on my charger when I left the boat and I can actually turn on my charger remotely. I can disable an inverter remotely. So because my Victron inverter charger is connected to the servo and because I have internet access to the servo, I'm now able to not only monitor situations, but I'm also able to change. And that's incredible because all too often, some of us certainly forget to do a certain important task and leaving an inverter on when you shouldn't could give you a lot of trouble and forgetting to turn on a battery charger could also be a big headache. So being able to do both remotely, turning on and off devices is one of the reasons why some owners and boaters are going to expand and say, okay, I've got the servo up to this point, but it would be nice to be able to control things. And the way to control things is to have another Victron device connected. And on top of it, if your solar controller is a Victron, you'll be able to actually go in there and see all the different Victron devices that are connected to the servo and actually go in there and make sure that they've got the latest software, that they're acting the way they should. And so it's really a portal to everything related to the energy system of your boat, um, which is kind of neat. The other thing too that's uh, interesting is you can even set up alerts. You can actually start alarming. Give a condition, for example, on my boat, if I ever lose shore power, I'd like to know that. You know, I could lose shore power because someone accidentally disconnects the shore power on the dock. It could be loss of shore power because of a storm. But whatever the reason, I'd like to know because that means that now my boat and my refrigeration and all the systems on board are running off batteries. And that doesn't matter so much when we're in the summer and we've got a huge solar array and maybe, but now in the winter time when the sun's not shining as long or short and the sun's lower on the horizon, the solar array is not going to be able to help out as much as it does in, let's say, June as it does in January. 
And so again, the advantage of having alarms is getting a little bit of notification so that you know that if your batteries are starting to drain, then you can start planning, okay, what am I going to do next? Am I going to go to the boat? Am I going to ask someone to go on board? Look at the shore power. Is the marina going to come and have a look? So I guess it's trying to remove surprises. And those surprises, as we know, can be very expensive. And that's the advantage of getting that Victron Servo Kit is having monitoring and control, depending on the type of devices you connect to it, and do it all remotely. So it's amazing. If you've got questions or comments on how you've been using the Victron Servo with your boat and what you like or dislike about it, please put your comments down below. Sharing is caring. And um, for all of you out there, stay safe. And hopefully this has been uh, another way to remove some worries from uh, being a boat owner. Take care. So if you're curious again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.